So, I shit you guys not. I literally went through one encounter since the last episode. And look what I find. A new Pokemon that we have not seen yet. Cutie Fly. Which is a really cool Pokemon. It's, I believe, Bug Fairy, which is a really cool combination of things. And um, it actually involves something with good stats, like really good stats, like good speed and special attack. And uh, it kind of reminds me of Vivellon, except a lot better speed, because Vivellon has really bad speed, actually, which is really surprising. I remember I used it competitively, and it had really bad speed. I want to see a Quiver Dance. So uh, this thing's really cool. And I'm looking to catch it, because why not? You know, it's pretty unique, and uh, yeah, I kind of forgot to take Grammar off the top of you know, my party, which. That's on me. That's on me, you know. But anyways, guys, welcome to episode number, I believe, 8 of the Pokemon Moon playthrough. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And if you are, be sure to drop a like on the video and drop a comment saying what your favorite fairy-type Pokemon is. Let me know, guys, because um, there are too many fairy types, but there are some new ones. Are you guys are are you guys fans of Primarina? Like, you know, the all, all form of Poplio, though? I mean, like, I know a lot of people are on that Poplio train. Are you guys on that popular train though? Because uh, Premier Innocence is pretty cool. I haven't really been able to use it obviously because I've been using Rowlet so far. And uh, I plan on using Poppy on my Nuzlocke actually. So that's been pretty cool and uh, I look forward to it. Liden is also a cool Pokemon. I plan on using it a bit as well. I plan on actually going for a shiny version of it. So that should be pretty cool. I'm actually just going to use a Great Ball over here because I don't really got time to continuously use Pokeballs that will just fail on me. So. We're gonna cheap a little bit. We're gonna get, we're gonna get a little bit cheap. We're gonna throw a great ball. See how it works. It should catch it fine and dandy, and it does. That's pretty cool. I don't plan on using this thing, so again, it won't go onto the layout. So uh, yeah, but you know what? That's fine. That is fine. And speaking of uh, fine and layouts, we are probably gonna end up getting a Dartridge just pretty soon. So once once my boy Route evolves. Uh, JK Rao, that is, then that'd be really cool. But, anyways, look at this, you know, nice little cutie fight. I have some Bug Fairy, looking really nice. Added to our party, looking cute as ever. Literally, named Cutie Fly. Like, hello, can we get any cuter than that? Can we get any cuter than that? Alright, so we can't really use Grammar anymore. Can we just, can, can we bring back the Switch menu you think? I don't want to use my touchscreen all the time. I'm not used to this nonsense, but, you know, that's fine. What else, what else can we find over here? Because literally, I, I said one, one encounter, I, I wanted to see if I could find something different. And we found something different. We found Spiro, so this seems like a different area of anything else compared to the other area that we're in. Or maybe it's because it's now morning time in the game. Because uh, this game does take place 12 hours from your time zone. So right now it's 7.22 to put it into perspective. So since now it is 7.22 compared to 6 a.m., it is now morning time and the sun is completely up. So we are going to find some different Pokemon. Uh, at least that's from what I am, I guess, uh, interpreting. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these Pokemon are just in this area in general. I'm not sure. This can probably just be a completely new route, and I had no idea that was even a new route in the first place. And that's where I'm going to have to take, uh, you know, keep track of it in my Nuzlocke, because each and every new route we go to will consist of a new Pokemon that we can catch. So I'm going to go do two more encounters, see if we see anything new in these two encounters. And it seems like we're just finding Spearows and Spearows and Spearows. No Smirgles, and uh, Cutie Fly is actually a really hard one to find, even though we found it pretty much once we ended the episode, so... I don't know what the odds are, man. I mean, this game just wants to troll me or something. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. Can we just... Can we find new Pokemon, though? I want to see something new. I want to see something clean. Spearows are everywhere, man. This is, this is just throwing me back to Generation 1, where all you find were flying-type Pokemon. And all you find are flying-type Pokemon. Whether it was Zubat and Pidgey and Spiro, they're everywhere, man. At the beginning of the games, and I'm just like, can I? Can you go away? Can you please go away? Like, I'd rather find Rattatas over you. And like, Spiro wasn't like the most encounterable Pokemon, but still. But right now, I'm just finding like five in a row. I, I just want to at least find one different Pokemon. Come on, C can you just give me one different Pokemon from this route? I will leave you if it's at least one something that's not a Spiro. I will leave you alone if it's at least not a Spiro, because like, I, seriously, I want at least. See what else is in here. If it's a cutie fly, it's a cutie fly. I don't care too much. But, like, still, I want to see at least one different Pokemon. I don't want to continuously go to for Spearows, man. It feels like I just wasted my time. There you go. Give me your tat. I don't care. I'll just run away now. And now I won't even look at this area anymore. Because this area it just looks redundant. I'm not liking this patch of grass. It's just giving me tons of Spearows and Rattatas. And not, not really, but still, it's fine. It's all good. I'm not hating. I'm just appreciating. Okay, so this guy's a trainer over here. Can I actually go? Actually, we not we cannot go over there. Is there any item over here? There is. Okay, so we found a revive. 
Part of me just wants to kill Grammy just so I can use that revive. But now nah, we're, we're gonna get the revive. Why not? I'm looking for bears. So I have my Pokemon hold, so that's kind of smart. I mean, I can always give some orange berries to my Pokemon for now, but I don't know. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of uh, lazy. So let's go. Let's take a farmer. Except he's a Pokemon breeder. He's a Butterfree. Good thing we have uh, Sam in the front of our party just to pack this motherfucker to demon destruction. But jeez, Butterfree, you're you're just skipping everything, man. Level ten. That's what I have to see, man. Fuck those level 10 Caterpies. Like, who the hell is going to be like, mean enough not to let this thing get become a nice little beautiful Butterfree? Like, you're missing out on this thing that can get Gust and do 12 damage while using it. Like, holy crap, dude. That did a lot of damage. But Peck does just as much, man, if not more. So we're good. Butterfree's gone. We should at least gain a level over here. That's a crap load of experience, bruh. That's a lot of experience. Supersonic. Okay, that's not, that's, that's, that's not a good move. Can we, can we not learn bad moves? Damn, it doesn't even tell you if you're sure that you want to grow that level. Okay, does Darters, I mean, does, does uh, Route evolve now or no? Okay, does not evolve now. Okay, so it's not one of those Pokemon that can evolve around level 14. So it's probably going to be one of those level 16 evolutions, and I'm completely okay with that. I'm completely okay with that. Because Dartrix is worth waiting for, guys. Dartrix is amazing. I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to just fangirl over it. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Malia. I was about to say this person's Mia or Maya. Because we want to get some Maya before. Malaya. Might as well be a Maya because you're just adding an L to it. You're just adding an L and an A to the name. Pack should just kill this thing one shot, to be honest. Could be fine. It's so cute whenever it's dead, right? Ha! Yukon! That's really mean of me. I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to kill your Pokemon like that. Why I lost? Because you have no money. I want to get good money after I destroy opponents and you're not giving me anything cool. You're lame. Oh god, it's Hal. Are we really going to have to go against Hal right now? How's it all your Pokemon? Did we go right? It's pretty bad, actually. The same here. My team has, been, has seen better days for sure. Glad that you shed light on my uh, bad Pokemon. Come on, let's stop by the PMC. The fuck's a PMC? Where, where, the, where why, why you gotta, why you gotta do me like that? Just say Pokemon Center. Why you just say PMC, bruh? You know that Verdant complete. You don't got Verdant Cavern Police, right? I guess it's kind of like Sacred to Tapacoco. You aren't even allowed to go into it unless you're on the Islands Challenge. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Elliot. You lucky thing. Three of uh, Thank you. I'm not that lucky. I know what revives do. I know that Pokemon sell stuff. I think I'll give myself a tree at the cafe to pump myself up before the first trial. He's gonna take some of that juice. I'm gonna go ahead and just heal my Pokemon up and then dip, cause I'm not about my I'm not, I'm not about juicing up my Pokemon like he is. He's he's just he's doing things that aren't good for his Pokemon. That's, that's not right. It's not good for you, man. It's not good for you. Even though we're the ones slurping the drinks, cause apparently human is important in this game. Gotta stay hydrated, my friends. Okay, so it's 50% in this game. Okay, it's interesting. If only the water and the sea were soda pop, then I could heal my Pokemon. Go on to the Pokemon Center, you fucking moron! Unless you're just talking about in general. Okay, so this looks like a new area yet again. Well, fuck me sideways. What are we gonna find over here? All these new routes and new places and. Psst, no, never mind. It's not even new. Fan fucking Spiro, man. Come on, why are with these Spiros here, man? Come on. What is with these Spiros being everywhere? What, what did I, what did I deserve to find all of these redundant Pokemon that we've seen already five thousand times? Come on, give me something different. Give me something different. Come on. How rare are you? <laughs> I found you on the first try, and now it took me like ten Pokemon to find you again. How rare are you, Cutie Fly? I guess you're just too cute for us, even though we already cut like your cousin. Okay. I'll go like two more encounters over here. I, I'm guessing I already found everything that I can find. Rattata, Spiro, and then the 10% Cootie Fly or whatever the percentage is. Never mind, we found a Growlithe! Look at it! Look at this fluffy fuck! Look at this fluffy fucker! Look at him! Okay, I'm gonna catch the ground. I got to, man. I got to catch the ground because it's fluffy, it's cute, I love it. Bite! Okay. You're trying to be all intimidating. I see you, you fluffy doge. Too bad I'm gonna catch you and you're not gonna look so intimidating on my team because we ain't about this. 
We about this life of intimidation. We're about, we're about this life of love. You're gonna you're gonna love me. You're gonna, you're gonna get this ball right now. Dodge, 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 dodge. One, two, three. Bang! All right, young. See, see, he loves me. He loves me. All right. So in Pokemon Moon, um, you do end up getting an Alolan version of Sanchu. <gasps> Look at that Growlithe sprite! It's so adorable. Um, you you end up getting a Alolan Sanchu rather than a Alolan Vulpix, and I'm actually kind of upset by that because I really wanted to use Alolan Vulpix, but you know what? That gives me, that gives me. I guess a way to use it whenever I do my Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke, because it's only a Pokemon Sun, so that should be pretty, that should be pretty nice. Now, question is, do I want to use this uh, Growlithe? Leave in the comment section below. Should I use the Growlithe? Should I not use the Growlithe? I'll leave it on my party. I'll leave it on my party for now, and uh, I won't put it on the way out yet. And if you guys want me to use it, I may use it. I'll, I'll let you guys choose my party in a way. Maybe, maybe my fourth uh, Pokemon. Maybe it won't. Should I try something a little bit more new, because this is a Gen 1 Pokemon, or should I just... Should I just say fuck it and use it and love it, because it's cute? I don't know. Let's see what else we can do. I'm gonna do two more encounters over here, maybe we can find something that's, uh, different. Okay, that's not different. We'll do, we'll do one more encounter. One more encounter! If it's not new, we'll just dip. I'm sure we're probably gonna be going into grass patches without even wanting to anyways, so... That's why I don't want to do too many encounters. I'm sure you probably find everything, man. Growlithe is probably the five percent in here, ten percent in here, or whatever. And it seems like Spears and Rattatas are like the forty percent or whatever. Okay, fuck it. We're not staying in here. This 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 rat is cool. I just I don't like the likelihood of the Pokemon appearing, and you know what? That's fine. I don't mind it too much just because. I mean, if it's a good Pokemon, why would they make it easy to find? You know. It's kind of lame. Gotta make, gotta make you uh, search for them. So here's a trial stuff happening. Oh man, am I ready? Am I ready? Greetings, Captain Lima here. Am I trial? Begins more smear steps from here in Verdant's Cavern. Know that the Pokemon living in Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I would venture in unless you've prepared some potions and so forth. So you would not recommend us to go in. You're telling me the trials during this island challenge can one and can exceed his or her own limits. That is what the alone Pokemon or people believe. Once you enter Renan Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you have completed the trial. You prepare for the trial. Sure. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, so we got we gotta turn off for Lima. We gotta turn off for Lima. Oh, look at this camera angle. What kind of cool Pokemon can we find in here? Dude, we got like Tarzan music up in here. What is this? This place is hella intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, dude, these graphics, these graphics are so good. Let me formally welcome you to Vernon Cavern. I am your Captain Lima. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do is... Oh, well, there's Rotata. Oh, so we have to use the Poke Finder, it seems like. That's kind of cute. Look at little Rotata. Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk here in their dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the Z crystal there. You need is completely you need to be completely in sync with your Pokemon to succeed. Okay, what the fuck was that? Is that Kiki Palmer in there with some shit? What the hell? Oh dear, and there is one more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokemon make their home in this cave, but one stronger and more fearsome. That's probably it's probably Raticate. Probably Raticate, man. Um, known as a totem Pokemon also resides here. It will be the greatest obstacle you face as you attempt to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear the trial, you will not be able to catch Pokemon in Verdant Cavern. But this is but one of the seven trials that will f that you will face during your island challenge. And it begins now, the trial of Captain Lima. Trial start. Well, fuck your trial. I just want to get this item. <laughs> fuck your trial. We have to go. We have to go down from there. It sucks that you can't, um... It sucks that you can't end up, like, catching Pokemon yet, but that's fine. We can be patient. What if, these are what if, what if all these Rattatas were to be shiny, unless they're shiny locked? I doubt they are shiny locked. That'd be pretty interesting if they were. Level 11, we can take these on, bruh. I have Rock Smash, remember? We got the cheat code. Bank! That's a crit. That's definitely a crit. That wasn't a crit. Oh my god, Piggy Peck, you monster! How does that Oko? Holy shit, Rock Smash is so good in this game. As a fucking non-HM, I love it. 
Okay, so we still want to uh, defeat. That's fine. This Pokemon lurking in their little caves. It's kind of cute, though. You know, you're just gonna be like, "Hey, motherfuckers, come out!" Oh, was that even an actual encounter? I'm guessing this is different. Okay, hurry, hurry, Tata. You know what? I'm just gonna rock smash you as well. If I'm gonna feel level 11 with rock smash, I may as well be able to defeat all of you with rock smash. Also level 11. Huh? I'll just use rock smash. Quick attack. It's not stab. Get out of my face. That still did so much damage. Hello. Is it stab? Are these things normal dark? I actually don't know. Maybe they are normal dark. I kind of want to actually check. Why, why is this in level 13 already? Holy shit. Uh, let's get rid of Sanitai, to be honest. Oh, Maki is trying to be part of the team, man. Level fucking 13, dude. Not bad. I, I don't think that counts as the Pokemon. Oh, it does. Okay. So these Pokemon lurk in here. Either they want to come out or they don't. If we go down over here, should be able to get a nice little TM break break. Okay, that's good for Makuhita, but I'm not even planning on using Makuhita. I don't think anything else is going to learn it though. Oh, what the hell? Picky Pick could learn it? What? Hello? As if Rock Smash was decent already. I gotta, gotta get rid of Growl. Shit, Brick Break, are you kidding me? <laughs> Damn! I see you, Picky Peck. I see you! Picky Peck, you monster. I love you. Why are you so good? Okay, like, can we like fall off this or some shit? I guess not. Okay, so their last one's standing over there. I have to guess. I guess, yeah, we have to go around. Okay. Makes sense. You have to crawl? Oh my god, that's awesome. The crawl through there. It would have been cool if we could like actually go into like a crawl animation. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Oh, is he gonna like troll us? Okay, so he's up there. Okay. I thought maybe he was gonna troll us and like go down while we go up or whatever. That'd be kind of lame. Hi, friend. Come out, friend. Oh, he's trolling us. Okay. He's definitely trolling us. He's throwing us in a different fashion than I thought. And you can't break this bug. There's nothing over there anyways. Were you there before? I, I, I don't think you were there before. Whatever. Pretty sure just going to be like, do you want to... Are you satisfied with your, uh, with your visit of this trial? Okay. Maybe you have to, like, click on, like, on a different part of the cavern or whatever. Maybe, maybe I have to like, click on the top one, because he's trolling me and going over there instead. I'm gonna try that, actually. Because maybe this game's trying to like play with your mind a little bit. Oh, okay, Team Skull's gonna get in our way instead. Yo, 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 my name is Fat Joe, it's your Berry Thief Boys, back, back again, remember us? Who are you? <laughs> oh, I see. Just because we switched places, you can't tell who we are anymore. <laughs> That's awesome. Who cares about that anyway? We're here to mess his trial up, yo! Oh yeah, that's right, yo, let's get that Pokemon, homie. We're smiling! Oh my god, this is awesome. I love the sarcasm in this game so far, it's so great. It reminds me of Super Mario RPG in a little way, like, you know? Something happens and then they just, like, fall and stumble, like, really, bruh? Like, come on, like, you don't, you don't even know who I am? Like, I just saw you, like, two minutes ago, bro, like, come on. <laughs> that's so cool. Drowsy! I guess it's another day for Grimer to destroy this face. Sam is taking kind of a beating though. We gotta make sure that Sam keeps up in good HP. We don't want Sam to be in bad HP, man. Sloppy seconds come through though! Gotta get this thing some sloppy seconds. Sloppy Joe is with that as well. Come through. Pounds. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. Look at that! We eat that up! Four damage! We eating your hits up, my man. We eating your hits up. This is gonna be a crit. It's not gonna be a crit. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna destroy you. Die. Grimer is so good, bro. Give me crunch. If I get crunch, it's a wrap. And yeah. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm this brittle? Well, I mean, Team Skull isn't that cool to begin with. Yo, Picky Peck is evolving. Let's go ahead and change up the image real quick for this nice little Picky Peck as it's about to evolve. I do not know actually how this one's gonna look like. I know the final evolution, but I actually don't even know the middle evolution. So, 
I'm gonna be as surprised as you guys are, or maybe not as surprised as you guys are. And hey, we got Trombeak, the nice little Pokemon. I'm sure it's gonna stick with its typing. That's pretty darn cool and pretty darn awesome. So let's go ahead and get that up on the layout real quick. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Trumbeak is coming through. Now I'm sure you guys are starting to realize why I named Sam Sam. So there it is. Pretty damn awesome. I'm gonna shrink it just a little bit. Let's do that live editing real quick. And all of that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, there you go. Trumbeak coming through to a theater near you. Looking pretty damn awesome though. And now this thing is just so good. I think like Trumbeak has to be like, well, psst. Piggyback has to be one of the best, like, like, fine type Pokemon so far. Like, the way you can learn, like, Brick Break and stuff, that's so cool. And, it, like, it's just a really cool Pokemon in general, I feel like, so far, of me using it. It's really cool. I like it. Its design is awesome. What's up with that? For real, though, I can't get my score around it. This kid's mad strong, yo! Do I have to defeat one of you? Okay. Nah, I didn't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man. Isn't this whole place trouble? Yeah, it totally is, homie. I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle. <laughs> Y'all be shitty. Okay, so... Oh, he's coming back to us. Never mind. Yo, kid, you know there's a mad strong Pokemon looking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. Oh, trying to scare us? Okay. Nah, we're not going out like that. We gotta get our revenge. Go stand over that den and catch that shulking Rattata, yo. For real, fine. I got no bones to pick with you. Why was he trying to, like, warn us of it or whatever? Hi. <laughs> They're trying to bring him out, okay. I was about to go that way anyways, but I guess he's now over there. So let's go and, uh, peek through this nice little hole, and it should be over here then. That's where it was peeked on the last time. And there he is, okay. They brought the Ritzata out to play with us. Oh, the Raticate out, okay! I thought the Raticate was going to be the one that's, uh, like, on the outside of the den. I, I guess not. So the last one is Eradicate level 11. Does this thing even evolve at level 11? Brick break this motherfucker up. He's such chubby cheeks, dude. I love it. But, yo, he's dead! I love Trombeak! So beautiful. Graph level 10. Order Sleuth. That's booty-licious, man. I ain't got time for that. You feel the Pokemon? So do we just go to the front now, or do we have to go through the uh, through up here? I guess we could talk to this guy. Why not? I'm sure, we have to probably go up here, but man, I'm trying to get here to help young boys and girls attend me the island challenge. Fantastic! Grab your strength for all three Pokemon. Then go right ahead inside. Okay. So I guess he kind of blocks you in case you don't. Now, what, what happens whenever I go back over here? Is Alima still there, or is Alima just not around? M.I.A. I guess M.I.A. Oh, no. He's here. Now, all you need to do is clean the Z-Crystal from the paddle still. Okay, no, we're not done yet. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything, like, in general. Like, maybe I was missing something, or maybe I could just go back rather than going forward. But, obviously, I have to go forward. I don't know. I just I want to make sure. I want to make sure. So, are these guys still trying to find the Pokemon? Like, we, we, just, we just kicked their butt. We just kicked the ass. All right, let's go back over here. Let's go with you, fam. Let's go. What, what are you? What are you up to? <laughs> Did you not notice that I defeated already? I'm pretty sure the other guy's over here too. He's like being all stupid and shit. You giving up already? Oh my god. These guys are some such numbskulls, man. I love it. They didn't even get through middle school because they're too much of rebels. All right, what's out over here? The Z crystal. Right, so it's gonna be like a really strong Pokemon apparently over here. I'm gonna be on Grimer. I'm gonna be, nah, we're gonna get JK Rowlet. Fuck it. We haven't used JK Rowlet much. Let's bring out Rowlet. Let's bring out my homie Rowlet. Okay. Oh, there's a smash over there. Let's get the touch over here and get the crystal. You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you, but from where? Will you take the Z crystal from the pedestal? No Pokemon? Oh, there it is. So another Eradicate over here. Gonna make like a kind of like an earthquake over here. Oh my goodness! Eradicate the Totem Pokemon of Verdant Cavern has appeared. 
Okay, let's uh, let's try us out. Radicate, totem radicate. So he's gonna be powered up by some X item. Defense rose. Okay. Rally. I don't know if he can really do much against this thing. Unfortunately, this thing's huge. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything to this thing. Actually, tail whip. Why is this thing so big? Jesus, I know you're a totem Pokemon, but fuck. It's gonna do nothing. Oh man, eat me up. I called it to Rally Ally Pokemon. So it's gonna bring out like a Radic. Yeah, Rattata. There you go. Huh. So now it's a two-on-one situation. I'll go the Rattata and then probably go into my. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Rattata and then go out into my other Pokemon. Quick attack. Getting double teamed out here, man. Scary face. We're already slow. What do you want from me? I'm already slow. Okay, that's a two hit KO. Yeah. After that, I'm just gonna go into my Trumbeak and just kill the Eradicate. Dude, this makes my 3DS lag so much. I kind of wish I was able to use like my uh, 3DS XL. Oh, that's gonna kill me probably. Well, we live in, but we ain't living. Uh, I'm gonna switch out. Actually, Grammar can probably handle this decently, because the best thing they can do is use normal type moves. Although I don't have any like fighting type moves on this thing, so it's gonna be a team effort. It's gonna be a team effort to destroy these two things. This is actually a decently tough battle. That did a lot of damage. Mmm, this is doing too much damage to me. I'm not liking it. Mmm, I'm not liking this right now. This is not a good position to be in. This is a decently tough battle, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that it's two on one just sucks. Focus energy. All right, this thing should die. This thing should die. And it's dead. Okay, let's go into Trumbeak now. Rouse level 15. Razor Leaf. Why can't you learn that like literally any sooner? Yeah, no use. No use keeping Leafage. That'd been perfect though, because it attacks both of them. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I don't want to use Makuta because it's not technically a part of my party, and I'm just that type of stubborn person. Like I said, though, I, I would just sack him off. Like, it's not important to me anyways. This isn't a lock or anything, because so I'm not really too concerned. Okay, we in this. Sam I am. Sam I am coming through. Brick Bricks should be able to do some good damage. Not, it's not going to kill because of the defense, but should do some decent damage. Never mind, he did! Trumby coming through. As if it's a fighting type, man. I love it. This thing is just like a Star Raptor, that's why I love it. It has fighting type moves. This is, well, in close combat is there a question, dude? That's super duper awesome. QD5 level 12. And Edge, uh, Trumbeak's just like, yo, we out here, we defeated them. They gone. Radicate has appeared back into the cave somewhere. What incredible trainer you are! For you to be able to defeat the Totem Pokemon that I had trained up to such a powerful state, I don't know what I can say. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you have cleared the Trial of Lima. You're a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Elliot. The Z Crystal from the pedestal is yours now. All right, so this should give us a Z power, I would imagine, for probably our starter. Like the uh, Z move for like Rowlet. Trial complete. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm liking the trials. They're pretty interesting. They kind of take place for a gym, but they're not as similar to a gym. Personally, I kind of like gyms a little bit more, but hey, I mean, it's different. Plus, this is only the first one that we've seen so far. It may change up a little bit. Normalium Z, you open to up the Z Crystal Pocket and put the Normalium Z away instead. So now we've upgraded in a way. Well, yeah, I've just received this a normal Z Crystal. It is known as Normalium Z. Now, if you let a Pokemon that can use a normal type move hold that, then you do a stupid dance. And strike an elegant pose like this, then you will be able to strengthen a normal type move by unleashing Z power. My removing right along. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, first there is one thing I forgot to mention. A totem Pokemon at every local where a captain holds his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon like Radicate just now. And during battles against such Pokemon, they, sit, they may summon allies to shore up their offense. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon and Alola are simply more inclined to help out one another. Since you have managed to defeat the totem Pokemon and prove yourself, you can now try to catch any of the Pokemon you find here in the cave. In fact, have some great balls. 
Okay, so we got 10 great balls. Pretty cool. Let me see the... Okay, so she's gonna heal us up too. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to round number three. Ooh, but I want to see the item that's right over there. Okay, cool. So we don't have to go with her yet. Actually, no, we can't destroy the rocks yet to see what the item up there. That's gonna bother me! I want to see the item! Come on! Well, there's the even item over there. I thought I saw an item. Maybe I was seeing things. Maybe I did. Oh, no, there is an item. Looks like a TM. Looks like a TM up there. That kind of sucks that we can't get to it yet, but that's fine. So we can find Pokemon over here now, as we weren't able to before. So let's see what we can find over here. Probably Rattatas, but still. Zubat. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. That's not too shabby. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the episode, be sure to drop a like. We're going to wrap things up around over here. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Moon Playthrough. Be sure to check the playlist that is in the description below. And to check out the other episodes of this uh, series as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all later. And peace out.